I do want to note up front that the company did provide this unit for this review, but has had no input at all in any of the content. This is completely my opinion about this item. So I've got the Provio camera hooked up. I didn't want to take the time to do a full install, and uh, but I will be because this is a great product. Um, so it's got four cameras, three up here, one looking forward uh, out the dash, one looking to the left, this one here, and this one over here looking out the passenger window, and then this one up here looking out the back. We're going to take this out for a little test ride and, uh, and then show you the footage that we get right off the camera. I did want to record for you the boot sequence because the uh, camera does give you a nice little tone uh, when you key it on, you key the ignition on. Gives you a nice little chime, lets you know that it's working. And, uh, and it goes right to recording as soon as it comes on, which is pretty cool. You don't have to remember to turn it on. All right, let's get this test started. Well, everybody, now we're going to see how this this dash cam works uh, in in darkness, or at least uh, just with the ambient street lights and things like that. So, um, let's get after it. One of the really cool benefits of this uh, dash cam is that in the event of a collision, it has a sensor that will detect the collision and actually lock that file so that it's not going to erase it. Because the way this operates, it continuously records in loops and continues to add them to the, um, to the memory. And then at some point, it fills that memory up and it needs to start deleting files. But if you have a file that was involved in an accident, it will lock that file out and protect it, which is a pretty cool design feature. This is also um, continuously recording GPS data. It, uh, it says that it records uh, live GPS data along with the image file. So that's pretty helpful. This kind of equipment can be really helpful if you are in a business that has you in the car a lot during the day. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of reasons that having video, audio, and position data uh, can help you if somebody goes and gets litigious on you. Um, you've got a benefit uh, that you've got actual data to show uh, what really happened because sometimes those stories, they get a little wonky when it comes time for the, uh, for the police department to get involved. I'm not saying the police are at fault, but you know, people's memories and their story often isn't <laughs> necessarily the truth. So having hard data can really make the difference between uh, an easy court case or a difficult court case if it comes to that. So fun fact, um, do not put in the uh, name of the camera into your uh, Google Play or your iPhone Play um, or your iPhone uh, store for the app. Use the uh, QR codes um, in the manual. <laughs> uh, it matters. Uh, I inadvertently down downloaded the first one that agreed with the name that I put in, and it was uh, riddled with, you know, buy this, buy that. Um, this app actually works really, 
really well. It is a GFG cam. It's the one that loads when you use the QR code in the manual. So make sure you do that. It does, it does get you what you need. And, uh, and if you play one of the files back uh, from the camera, it will show you your position and speed uh, from the GPS, which is pretty cool. There is one other cool feature on this unit. It can, uh, it can use a mode. Uh, you have to buy another harness for it, but it's a harness that will uh, allow it to uh, run off of the car battery when you're parked. And it has a circuit in it that prevents it from dragging your battery too low in case you left your vehicle parked for a long period of time. Uh, but what it will do is it'll, uh, when it's in parking mode, it will go into a time-lapse image mode where it's only capturing a single frame every minute. Uh, but, you know, when you stitch all that together, you're getting like a, a, an hour of imaging in, in a few seconds of video. So it's a really helpful way to, uh, to capture information about what's going on around your vehicle when you're not there when it's parked and it's sitting lonely in a parking lot. So would I recommend this unit to somebody who is commuting a lot or is spending a lot of time in their vehicle for work or whatever purpose you're in your car for? I absolutely would. I think this collects a great amount of high fidelity data, image and position and speed and lots of stuff that would, uh, that would be really helpful if you ever needed it. So I believe this has a great package of benefits for the cost.